We are back at it again here with another video with Invest for Tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. All I ask for in return is for the smash that like button to them when you watch this video. Helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you'll appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos. So here we are with BBIG stock, Vinco Ventures Inc. pushing up higher within the volatility. And it was not the only stock trying to push up higher. Tesla did as well. And our Tesla bot at 7.45 a.m. sent us out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward, Tesla into the bell and after the bell continued to go up higher. And call options went up 200% plus, guys. This is our new release that allows us to have an edge within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities, whether stocks are going up or going down. And you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected to the spy bot, the QQQ bot, our newly released Tesla bot, and we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities. And you can now join the members using these resources, maximizing whether stocks are going up or going down by receiving the clarity and edge 42 vision brings over the charts. So BBIG stock is here consolidating now after that push up and we're going to talk about some key levels and some other things that people are actually speculating on and i'm going to share with you guys what i have found and we can discuss it in the comments down below your thoughts and how you feel about it if you agree with me or disagree with me but before we do i want to share with you guys the home run opportunity i mentioned this morning over at the discord so the opportunity I mentioned this morning nearly reached home run territory. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. So these are the three stocks I mentioned this morning. Every single one of them gave 3 to 5%, 5 to 10% plus, and one of them nearly reached home run territory. And that was NURO. We caught this one under a bull indicator and strength here on 42 Vision at around four dollars and it hit a high here of about 18 percent plus at 475 in the pre-market pulled back down and jumped up again for a highest point of possibility of 18 percent plus from the moment we mentioned it and caught it in the pre-market if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market check out the link down below in the description to the discord and we look forward to having you join us we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump into these charts so here we are with BBIG stock, Vinco Ventures Inc. And as I stated earlier in the video, trying to push itself back up from this dip area. And as you could see on 42 Vision, it went from bright green area, which is the extreme strength to weakness here on the white with red borders. This is a complete transition to the downside and same thing that happened here to the upside from white with red borders to bright green. So 42 Vision allows us to see the dips and the rips and where the strength and weakness lies in the charts now we're going to talk about an article excerpt as well that i'm going to pull up and we could see what others think about it if this is correct or if this is incorrect or we could all learn something new together right anything i share is not to be taken as financial advice these are my opinions alone my findings and my perspective based off the charts and what articles are saying that i have read i could be completely wrong about what i'm stating but i'm here to share with you guys my perspective and opinion so i'm going to pull up ultimate 42 vision the born bear indicators which you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected to the spy bot the qqq bot our newly released tesla bot and we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities whether stocks are going up or going down and you can now join the members using these resources to maximize in either direction by receiving that clarity and edge over the charts with 42 vision so here we are on the 30 minute with a bear indicator and as we saw yesterday on the 15 minute it was under a bear indicator earlier in the day now when we pull back up the 30 minute here you could see that things had the full transition it's under a bear indicator and things are trying to pop back up today but no bull indicator in sight so for this to actually have real strength and not be a dead cap bounce or just trying to be momentum to the upside it needs to shift into dark green bars and also followed by a bull indicator as an extra layer of confirmation 
just like these two last recent bull indicators that popped up and strength followed right after them now some of them are weaker than others some are stronger but right now things are pretty volatile here in this area now a lot of people were excited up to the 18th because that was the record date right everyone that held up to that date was going to get the spin-off and those tied shares that everyone's been waiting for after that date it has been said that you can sell and you still will get those dividend shares right or the tide spinoff as you want to call it but i found this excerpt of the article that explained the date of how this all happened to be the record date and what this meant for the stock bbig even for long-term perspective because in the short term it's going to be volatile as we see it but after the 27th BBIG stock is actually detaching, well, even in this process anyways, detaching Tide shares from the company. So Tide was part of the value of Vinco Ventures, and it's being separated to be its own specific entity away from the value of BBIG. They think that that's going to create more value in the future for the company as a whole. So the Tide spinoff is great news for the company in the bigger picture, but not for the BBIG stock holders or stock itself because Tide spinoff is taking value away from the company itself. Those that understand this, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I've read and this excerpt says it all. So we're going to break it down and then we're going to talk about some key levels here based off the charts. So let's go ahead and pull this up. So as you can see here, I took this screenshot. This is from an article on the web. And this is something that I found very interesting because just this whole section of the article, it's from Investor's Place is where I found it. And it says here, BBIG stock May 18th set as record date. As of market close on May 18th, Vinco shareholders will receive one share of Cryptide common stock for every 10 shares of bbig stock owned so the investors could not sell on the date of and needed to be held into the close which then you saw what happened after market hours so very interesting how things reacted based off these keywords right here and we broke down already that you get for every 10 shares own of bbig stock you're going to get one cryptide then you also have that tide is going to be its own ticker symbol applied with the nasdaq exchange and so forth vinco will continue to be bbig so tide is already into the bbig stock price right now that means that tide's value is going to separate over this whole spin-off that's why they're giving that value back quote unquote to the bbig stockholders because this spin-off is taking value to begin with from bbig to go be its own entity and its own stock something to think about and then it says here vinco also disclosed that the price they even disclosed it right on their meetings and their filings bbig is expected to fall following the distribution this is because the price will no longer reflect the cryptide business in addition Vinco and Cryptide will have separate management teams and you have the bots there sending out notifications right now but there you have it you have it right there it basically stating that Cryptide business is no longer going to be reflected in Vinco Ventures which is part of Vinco Ventures value okay and they're going to have separate management teams almost like it's still under the same umbrella but two different brands okay and it's super interesting or two sections of the same umbrella of the brand so bbig stock regardless up to the 27th there might be some more volatility and hope i know there's a lot of speculation and hype going on about if you hold up to that date you might get more and so forth this is what i found and this was actually posted a few days before may 18th and I found it recently. So this is actually an old article of a few days ago, but with all the information of what's going on and how it's going to be processed. So just based off of this, 
it basically goes to show that value is going to leave BBIG stock if the bulls cannot hold this up and shorts continue to put pressure. It's going to retest certain support levels that we're going to talk about here over time. And the squeeze or the potential of a squeeze is going to fade away quicker and quicker. And when the distribution happens, it's said to take away from the value of BBIG because the distribution is coming from a piece of Vinco Ventures. That's the spinoff to go be tied, which then removes that value of tied that's already supposedly priced in to the BBIG stock and its market cap to go be its own market cap, its own stock. And they're doing that because they believe tied is worth more than BBIG alone. I think that's why the company's trying to do that. And it's also in the crypto space and that's the future. And they're trying to probably find another avenue for growth for the company through another piece of its own company, which is Cryptide. Um, very interesting, everything that's going on. But BBIG stock, it's gonna take a lot more strength to even pull upwards here at these levels. And those that have held up to today, we will see how much selling pressure pops up and how much the shorts start putting pressure after tomorrow because investors had to hold after the 18th to get that spin off. And from there, a lot of investors may not be looking to hold into the distribution or even the future of BBIG if this is the case. These key words are the ones that stood out to me, okay? How they disclosed it themselves, BBIG stock is expecting a fall following the distribution. Also, the price will no longer reflect the cryptide business that's actually part of Vinco Ventures. So all of that together just goes to share that some value could actually be lost here on the share price because they're removing cryptide from the share price and stock and everything about its market cap and whole business model, right? And here's the article that I actually took the screenshot of and I went ahead and highlighted the areas I wanted you guys to read. And there you could read the crypto business is no longer going to be reflected. And this is the heading of this article when it came out two days ago when I actually was reading it today. But I took the screenshot, broke it down, and I wanted to see other people's thoughts because a lot of people are saying that May 27th is the date to hold towards because there's going to be extra distribution and stuff like that. I haven't seen any source talk about that. This is what I've seen and I'm sharing with you guys what I've read. And I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below. Correct me if I'm wrong and we can discuss it down below in the comments section and what your thoughts are on BBIG stock and how this works about Cryptide removing some of the value of the stock regardless. Now, you could just see how many people were waiting to actually close out their positions or sell because they were just trying to get the Cryptide and after that close, they actually qualified after that close for those shares. That's how this worked out. And that's how we're here where the stock sits right now. So the first thing is support, 256. I would just even round that down to 250. If $2.50 gets broken through, the next support will be down here at around 236. I'll be watching that carefully to see if the bulls try to reappear and bring it back up or if the bears are trying to tear this one down fairly fast. Now to the upside, we want to see this break above the highs of the day, rejected it twice, 282, and then get back up to $3. As I've always stated, $3 is a pivotal level, and even $4 is more important to go ahead and put pressure on the shorts for a possible gamma squeeze, right? As a lot of people have speculated and thought for, but there has been small squeezes in between on all these news and up to the record date because some of the shorts started to cover their positions, but not enough to make things ramp up pretty fast. Again, I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below. The more due diligence and the more we know as investors and viewers can see other people's perspectives, the better. But again, I've shared my perspective, not financial advice, and my thoughts on what I think is going on with BBIG and why the stock is reacting the way it is. Is it all completely destroyed and the momentum destroyed? I don't think so. Anything could happen. Anything is possible. But the fact that the company itself 
sees value being removed and seeing the stock fall because of this distribution and Cryptide taking some of the share value of BBIG stocks company as a whole as Vinco Ventures is pretty interesting to me. I want to see your thoughts down below. And to receive clarity within the charts, check out the link down below in the description to the 42 Vision Indicator. Getting connected to the SPY bot, the QQQ bot, our newly released Tesla bot, and there's many more bots on the way to get connected to the Discord. It sends us direct notifications to give us that edge and clarity within the charts. And you can receive this edge and clarity that you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on the opportunities whether stocks are going up or going down you can now gain access to these resources and join the members using these resources receiving that edge and clarity within the volatility to the markets whether stocks are jumping up going down bearish or bullish no fomo no chasing just focused on what really matters and maximizing within those moves as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make so